Competition works. It doesn't make any difference whether you're a businessman or woman, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a state. Competition will make you shorter. It will help you accomplish more, dream bigger. And when we compete against each other, when everybody wins, unfortunately, not everyone views competition as a positive. Over the years and decades, Washington has extended its reach bit by bit until the sound concepts of the Tenth Amendment were blurred. I will suggest almost lost. The idea of states' rights has become increasingly disregarded. Well, after their own devices, any one of our 50 states is likely to stumble upon a solution to a widespread problem that's significantly cheaper, more effective than anything Washington can cook up. But with 50 states walking in lockstep, it's a safe bet that nobody's going to get far in solving any of those problems. Their approach doesn't seem to be about solving problems, though, when you really think about it. It's all about control. Washington wants people to follow their standards or pay the price. Freedom. Freedom feeds innovation, and we work hard to foster an environment that frees the private sector to do what the private sector does best, to solve problems, meet challenges, create jobs, that in turn creates wealth. We keep our regulatory structure fair and predictable so entrepreneurs can focus on those cutting-edge products, not cutting red tape. We work hard to create favorable climate. Then get out of the way, government, and let the private sector do what the private sector does best. <laughs>